draw the diagram. Draw the diagram. Don't say anything. First, you draw the diagram. The disk is then show show that disk first. And then you go for how to get that acceleration. So it is given angular velocity. I'll zoom in. Let, let me assume a strip, circular strip, I'll assume it. That's some rough diagram, not at the middle. Try to see this. I, I assumed a strip. Then, uh, so what, what is the width of the strip? Let it be dr. Okay, let, let the, what is the width of this? Let it be dr and the radius of this particular ring, let it be r. Let me assume four elements. So now do I come to know? There's a circular strip in that I'm assuming four elements here. So let 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 this obtain an angle. This is theta. This will be theta. This will be theta. Uh, what is the, the this radius is r? Till here is radius is r. This will be dr. No, I'm I'm interested in this particular strip here. And how is the angular velocity? Let, let me show that omega not here. So let this be D L. You write it. So th this let me shade this particular strip. So like this here. Again in the strip, I'll I'll assume. An elemental like this here. Now, how the velocity of this element will be? V like this. What about element? What is the linear velocity of this element? Like this. Linear velocity of this will be like this. So, linear velocity of this element will be like this. This will be the linear velocity. How the friction force will act on this element? D, uh, on the right hand side, I'll call that as df1. Just show opposite to the velocity here because friction should oppose the relative motion. No, yeah, fine. Okay, I think no, almost this is a basic assumption. So like this, you, you, you assume df1, that one. So first, what is that small element we assume? that The element is like this. The strip, this is dl, this is r, this is d theta, this distance is r. What is the mass of this strip should be? Let it be dm. Again, this strip is the elemental strip. 
like a thin ring of radius r width dr i am calling circle in that circular strip i am assuming four again elemental strips fine so now no, first we'll define it what is the uh, sigma we can define m by pi r square then we can define the mass of this so what is the mass of this dm equal to sigma into dl into dr Uh, now, how to calculate the, is asking acceleration of center of the disk immediately, is asking that acceleration of the disk. Okay, now let's come to the forces. So I know I, I know how to find out the DF. Now, what is DF1? Mu DM. What is DF1? Mu DM. What is DF2? Mu, mu DMG. Is that okay? So what is this frictional force? DF1 should be equal to Mu DMG. What is DF2? mu dm g Let, let's get into thing now how, how the forces will act here you, you resolve this force df1 cos theta you resolve this force df1 sin theta df1 cos theta here also df1 cos theta df1 sin theta so original components of this particular strip will get eliminated. So how much of horizontal force will act on this arc, this quarter circular arc, equal and opposite will act on this quarter circular arc. Similarly, same thing here. DF2 cos theta will act vertically down for this quarter circular. DF2 cos theta for this will be acting downward. So the uh, cos components will get added up, sine components will get eliminated. You see that when you resolve it. DF2 sine theta and df2 sin theta. So is it okay now? So now the vertical components will get added up, horizontal components will get nullified. But when I take these two elements here, so let's get into the, uh, the picture now. How to get that acceleration is what is asking. So I, I just took on, on this four elements. So what is the resulting force now? So df net, should be equal to 2 df1 cos theta minus 2 df2 cos theta. Now, sir, why you are writing negative sign? The resultant of this, say like a vertical vertical component, df1 cos theta, df1 cos theta will be along positive axis. df2 cos theta, df2 cos will be along negative axis. The difference will come. All the components will get cancelled out. It will be this much here. So then we'll substitute the values. Two into mu dmg cos theta. Mu one it is no. Two into mu two dmg cos theta. So I think everything this will become mu one minus mu two dmg cos theta. What is dm? mu1 minus mu2. dm is sigma dl into dr cos theta. Let's get into next part of simplification. Now what is dl? We can write it as r d theta. Arc length dl should be called r d theta as dr is very small. So this will become r d theta. This is dr cos theta mu1 minus mu2 sigma r dr cos theta d theta can we integrate yes we can integrate so how to get the net force so this limit you put 0 to capital r then this limit 0 to but this is called a surface integral. We can do like this also. One of the problem I just picked up. Then simplification of this will be mu1 minus mu2 sigma. This will be r square by 2. Integral of cos theta will be sine theta 0 to pi by 2. 
Uh, one, uh, G, 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 I think it, it got missed here. So substituting this and uh, citing that next to the sine theta, this will get eliminated. So this will become one. So finally, sigma is pi r square by two. So we'll get the total acceleration m is equal to mu one minus mu two g sigma is m by pi r square. That's what we assumed it. So r square by two. Solve it, you'll get the acceleration. And this acceleration in what direction? Everything substitute, you will get this one. In what action this acceleration should be? I'll, I'll write it answer here. You do calculation later on. Huh? In what action acceleration? Okay, we got answer. What direction? That acceleration along y axis, no positive y axis. G cap. Check it. Because uh, mu one is greater than mu two, no. And th th this particular force in what direction? This df net on this four elemental strips in what direction will be acted along y-axis here. So the resultant acceleration will be along positive y-axis. At that instant only. So here the assumption of that elements is very important. Here is what the students will go wrong. That's why you'll end up with some different different random answers here. Now I'll scroll down. So what about torque? Like it's not, it didn't show interest in asking torque. Okay, let, let's go for torque also. I'll give you a little bit easier, simplified one. Read the question now. So we'll, we'll discuss about now the torque also, torque due to this friction. Okay, there's a circular disk is there. 